In the world of education, understanding the dynamics of reinforcement is very important for understanding student behavior. However, it's not just about what we reinforce. The art lies in the timing and frequency of reinforcement. In this video, we look at schedules of reinforcement, exploring the secrets behind optimal timing and frequency of reinforcement. There are two distinct approaches that govern how rewards shape behavior. Continuous reinforcement, as its name suggests, is straightforward, give reward every time a specific desired behavior is exhibited. This category of reinforcement is effective for the initial stages of learning but may lead to faster extinction if the reinforcement is discontinued. Intermittent reinforcement, on the other hand, can metaphorically represent a sporadic rain shower in a desert, unpredictable yet impactful. In this approach, reinforcement is delivered after some, but not all, occurrences of the desired behavior. Intermittent reinforcement can be further divided into several types. Let's take a closer look at each type. First, intermittent reinforcement can take the form of fixed ratio, this means is delivered after a fixed number of responses. For example, an fixed ratio 5 schedule would mean reinforcement is given after every fifth response. The second type of reinforcement is variable ratio. This is delivered after an average number of responses, which can vary. The number of behaviors required for reinforcement is unpredictable. Third, intermittent reinforcement can take the form of fixed interval, which means reinforcement is available only at certain periodic times. The final examination you take at the end of the semester is a good example. For variable interval, Reinforcement is available at some times but not at others. The time interval between reinforcements varies unpredictably. A good example is the pop quizzes given at unpredictable intervals in a class. Each schedule has its own effects on behavior, and the choice of schedule depends on the goals of the experimenter or the context in which the behavior is being modified. Fixed schedules tend to produce a steady rate of responding. Variable schedules tend to produce more consistent responding, as the uncertainty of when reinforcement will occur keeps the behavior persistent. Ratio schedules typically result in higher response rates than interval schedules. The time and frequency of reinforcement can have a significant impact on student engagement, motivation, and overall learning experience. So let us see how how these reinforcement schedules can be applied in a classroom setting. Continuous reinforcement can be useful for initiating new behaviors. If you want, for instance, your students to raise their hands before speaking, provide praise or a small reward every time a student raises their hand. This will surely help establish the behavior you want in the classroom. Fixed ratio reinforcement is suitable for tasks that can be easily quantified. For instance, giving a sticker for every five completed math problems can motivate students to persist in their work and maintain focus on the task at hand. Variable ratio reinforcement can be effective for maintaining behavior over the long term. Consider a situation where students receive praise after an unpredictable number of correct answers during a class discussion. This unpredictability keeps the students engaged and motivated. Lastly, fixed interval reinforcement can be helpful for behaviors that need to be consistently maintained over time. Picture a scenario where positive feedback is given at the end of each week for consistently completing homework assignments. This helps in reinforcing the behavior of completing assignments consistently. Now, let's explore variable interval reinforcement. This schedule is particularly suitable for behaviors that need to be consistently performed. Consider a classroom scenario where we want students to stay on task. Instead of providing praise at predictable intervals, we can give praise at random times during a class period for staying on task. 
This unpredictability keeps students engaged throughout the class, reinforcing the behavior of sustained focus. Remember, understanding and applying reinforcement schedules in the classroom is essential for shaping and maintaining desired behaviors. Whether it's continuous reinforcement for new habits, fixed ratios for quantifiable tasks, variable ratios for sustained engagement, fixed intervals for consistent behaviors, or variable intervals for ongoing focus, these strategies can enhance the learning environment. Tailor your approach to meet specific student needs, creating a positive and motivating atmosphere. Thank you for watching.